Yeah, it's uh, really a dream come true. Something I've been praying about a lot. Um, a great competition uh, in the quarterback room that we had this fall camp. And uh, I really don't think that I would be in this position without that competition. So I'm um, super fortunate and uh, try not to get a big head at all because at the end of the day, you know, I, I haven't even done anything yet. So um, just remaining humble and, you know, trying to, trying to stay, um, stay level headed. How further along is your game now? How, how do you, from, from a year ago, so far, you got to play some last year in the system. What kind of progress have you made? Yeah, there's a, there's a huge difference in my mindset from last year. I think I progressed mentally uh, off the field and uh, game planning and everything like that. I've tried to become a more mature quarterback, um, whether it's my reads or off the field, um, watching film with the O-line, watching film with the receivers. Really just the next level type quarterback mindset is what I've you know, implemented this year. So. While you were talking to Coach Joko yesterday, and he said that I'm pretty close to that he did that. Avoiding, preventing turnovers should be like raising. It's part of who we are. Can you address that? Yeah, um, obviously the pass is the pass, and we, we don't really think about the previous years, but the turnover margin, we've looked at the statistics, and that is what wins and lose, loses ball games. So um, that's been a priority, and that, the coaches this year aren't, aren't the ones holding us accountable. It's our own teammates, and we've made sure of that. So um, always keeping the ball high and tight, wrist above elbow, and it's my job. You know, I touch the ball every play to, you know, keep the ball out of jeopardy. So it's definitely a... As a quarterback, have you absorbed the lesson? Sometimes it's better to throw the ball away. Just accept the play, not to worry. Just yep. pull it away. Yeah. Um, our offensive coach and my quarterback coach does a great job of teaching us that. Um, throwing the ball away is okay. That's what he says all the time. So, you know, just keeping the ball in our possessions main priority for sure. Speaking of, of Coach Johns, how was your relationship with them from the very beginning when you first, you know, heard the news of who they were hiring at OC and the quarterback's coach as well? Yeah. How have you guys progressed in the relationship with us where you fall? Yeah, he's, he's the man. He, he knows his stuff. And I trust him with the playbook. 100%. And we've gotten to the point where I start to know what he's thinking and I know what he wants when he calls a play. Um, at first it was just he puts in a play, but now it's me knowing exactly what he's thinking um, every single play call. So our relationship has been really good. Can you, can you speak to the importance of Jordan? Yeah. Um, obviously in the QB room, but also you being able to get him the ball whether it be a running back or wide receiver or wherever he is. Can you speak to the importance of Jordan and what he needs to take? Yeah, he's without a doubt one of the best athletes on the team. And the ball needs to be in his hands. Uh, and our relationship, you know, in the quarterback room hasn't changed at all whenever he's, uh, you know, out doing different things like that. We, uh, we're really tight and I know exactly what he's thinking. He played quarterback, so he knows what I'm thinking. Um, he knows the gaps. And uh, I'm really excited to watch him this year. He's, he's going to be a threat. Yeah, no, it's been great. Coach Elko's extremely person personable. He's a, he's definitely a player's coach. Uh, we joke around all the time. Uh, I oftentimes go back up there to watch film, and we're all up in the fourth floor um, having a good time, watching film, uh, cracking jokes. So they're really personable, and you know I'm super excited to you know further our relationship. Coach, uh, offensive, offensive that historically been offensive, but yep. what is that? Is that yeah. exciting for you as a quarterback? Yeah, it's, it's funny you say that. I think. We have everything in our offense, really. Uh, tempo, every formation possible uh, that you could think of. So I'm really excited to you know, run a fast pace when we can and then slow it down when we want to as well. How much research did you start the one when you heard Coach Johns was, was going to be the guy that pull up Memphis film that you could find? Yeah, yeah I, I did. Um, and there's a lot, lot of stuff there, like I just said. like every play you could could imagine in any formation. So I definitely did my research, and he's definitely the man, so. How important is that first game to get off a good start and get your taste and come off last season? Yeah, I mean, that's extremely important, especially with the new staff coming in. This first game is going to set a statement that, you know, Duke football is a new Duke football, and we're ready to go. We're going to win. You mentioned praying about how's your faith identify a little bit of who you are, not just a football player, but how's that identify? Yeah, that's everything that I've ever been about. Um, obviously, football is a priority in my life, but you know, when I go to sleep at night, the first thing I think of is, did I further my relationship with Jesus Christ? Um, did I you know, treat my family right? Um, and then football comes along, but faith is everything for me. Um, 
and it's just taught me so many lessons about life and you know the afterlife and what really is important in this life so that that drives me every single day Yeah, um, it's definitely matured me in the fact that, you know, I don't need to worry so much. And it's really, you know, relieving to have, you know, a higher spirit that has your back and something that you can fall, something that you can fall back on. Because, you know, if, when I'm down, that's the first thing I go to. You know, I run to the Father when I'm down, um, and it always, He always picks me back up. So it's everything for me. Well, we were talking this summer, we were talking about the low expectations of this team from the outside world. And you didn't run for that. You said that was fuel for your fire. Can you collaborate on that? Yeah, I, I love seeing um, Duke football uh, going to be projected worse in the ACC. I love seeing Riley Leonard, worst quarterback in the ACC. Um, you know, it's, it, I, I honestly just read it and laugh because, you know, people don't know the work that we've put in uh, as a collective group. Everybody on this team has worked their butts off this whole summer, all spring. Um, so we, when we see those predictions, we kind of just chuckle and, you know, use it as fuel to the fire for sure. Anything else? How has being a QB1 change your attitude in the locker room? Yeah, um, it really hasn't. Uh, I've been the same person, and hopefully my teammates will attest to that, you know, before and after I got the job. I don't want to change who I am just because I had this status on the depth chart. Um, so nothing's really changed in that aspect. I've been trying to become a better leader every day when I was competing and now that I got the job, nothing changes.